Hello everyone, this is Matthew Belugos101, and I've noticed that a lot of people are scared of spiders, but it's really hard to kind of communicate what makes a spoopy spider different from a not-so-spoopy spider. So today I have endured the horrible, awful fucking task of looking at all these different types of spiders, and I'm gonna gauge them in a tier list based off of how awful they make me feel looking at them. And this is something that I've actually wanted to do for a while, because when explaining to people that I'm scared of spiders, they always say like, oh, this spider can't hurt a fly, even though it can't. Or this spider is not as venomous as this other spider. The venom is not quite as strong, which is something like, yeah, that's logical. There are a lot of spiders, especially spiders on this fucking list, that can and will kill you upon biting you. However, as an arachnophobe, what is scary to me is not how venomous the spider is, or how dangerous the spider is, but how awful it looks. And it's really kind of something that's hard to put into words, and that's something that I really wanted to kind of show and kind of break down. Maybe you can get a better idea, maybe you can have a few hyucks along with me. So, we're just going to go right into this, and we are going to go in alphabetical order because I cannot organize for shit, and I do not know the fucking spider's names that I'm looking at. Some of them I do know, like the tarantula or the camel spider, or fucking one of these that we're going to get to in a second, but most of them I do not fucking know the names of, and I'm not going to pretend like I do. So we're just going to go in alphabetical order, and if you ever see me looking down, it's because I have them in alphabetical order on my phone, so that, I don't so that I don't forget what the names of the spiders are. So, going from top to bottom, we have the fucking worst. This is the S tier. These are spiders that are so fucking awful looking that they, they uh, emit an immediate visceral reaction from me. Then right below it, we have I feel physically ill, which these are spiders that are not quite the fucking worst, but they still eh, make you feel a little eh, weird looking at them. Then we have disgusting, pretty standard stuff. Not the worst, which is what I would consider C tier. Uh, it's a spider. If I saw it in real life, I would run or kill it. Uh, it's not going to be the worst thing ever. Then we have not scary. These are spiders that I definitely wouldn't call fucking cutes, because that's right underneath it. Because believe it or not, there are some cute spiders out there. They're very fucking rare, but they are things that exist. So, we have fucking worst, I feel physically ill, disgusting, not the worst, not scary, and cute. Right, so we're going to go ahead and start with, what the fuck is this one called? The Australian Orb Weaver. Um, this one already looks like something from Skull Islands. I, I don't like the way it looks. Uh, one thing you're going to realize very quickly about me is that depending on how hairy the spider is and how long that hair is and how its bone structure is really affects the way I feel about a spider that I'm looking at. Um, the Australian Orb Weaver had to look down for a second. Uh, it, it's one of those spiders that when it's on its web, it stays there. It doesn't wander around, doesn't jump on you. It has its home, it has its happy little nest, doesn't go around chasing for blood. Blood comes to it. So, I don't know, I feel like this thing... It, it is pretty disgusting, though. If I found it crawling on my hand, I would probably freak the fuck out. However, looking at it, it emits a visceral... Not a visceral, it emits a reaction from me, but it's not the worst reaction. Speaking of not the worst, we have the banana spider, and I used to live in Florida for a very long fucking time. These spiders are massive, they're like this big, but just like the Australian orb weaver, they find their nest, uh, they find their web, and these webs are really fucking big, and they just stay there. They, they don't, they don't even really move that fast, they don't like flip the fuck out when you get near them. They're just really big, and honestly, if I gotta be quite honest, they are kind of beautiful in their own way. So, a uh, banana spider, they're kind of like a jewel, they're like a gem, so I'm gonna put them at not the worst because they are big. If I saw one crawling on me and I didn't want it to be crawling on me, I would still flip the fuck out, but that being said, it wouldn't be as bad as other spiders. 
Then we have the famous Black Widow, which this might be a bit controversial, but I am not that scared of the Black Widow, and this is going back to the whole Venom versus not Venomous thing, even though all spiders are Venomous. Black Widow, I do not fucking care about the Venom. I am not scared of dying. I am scared of these fucking things being near me and touching me with their fucking fingers. Black Widows are, they don't really have any hair. You can kind of get a sense of its structure. It makes sense. It's like, I hesitate to use the word cute because Black Widows are not cute. It's more like dainty. You look at it, they look dainty. That being said, there is that part of me that acknowledges that these things are really dangerous and really venomous. So, I, I'm torn between not the worst and disgusting. I'm going to put it at not the worst because it is still that part of me that's not like completely fucking repulsed when I see a Black Widow. However, if it was crawling me, on me, I would flip out, but not because of the way it looks, but because, like, I would immediately recognize this thing as venomous and it will kill me. So a different type of fear, but eh, just judging it based off of its appearance, not that bad. This fucking thing is the bold jumping spider. Now I'm gonna get this right off the bat, you're gonna notice this very quickly. Jumping spiders are fucking cute. I don't care what anyone says, and most people would probably agree with me. Jumping spiders look like that fucking spider cartoon. I think it was Lucas the Spider. These things are not scary. They look so fucking dopey and so cute. You can see, like, a fucking jumping spider being made out of a plushie. And a kid would probably want to own it and sleep with it. Because jumping spiders just have that look to them. They have the big fucking eyes and they're just cute. This one... I'm gonna need a fucking coffee before I get to this one. This is when we're getting into the real shit. Um... The fucking Brazilian wandering spider is the worst fucking thing ever created by anything. Um, I, I'm convinced that on the seventh day when God rested, Satan snuck in and created these fucking things. I'm just going to put this right at the very fucking top, the fucking worst. Brazilian wandering spiders are so fucking god awful. Not only are they giants, but they are wandering spiders which means that they do not have webs, they do not have nests. They run around, and they fucking run all over everything, and they stick their little fucking fingers everywhere. And so, going back to what I was saying about the Venom, uh, I'm not particularly bothered by Venom. Like I said, like, not overly afraid of dying from a bite of any one of these. However, the Brazilian Wandering Spider is a huge fucking exception, because not only is this thing extremely aggressive towards humans. Not only is it one of the most venomous spiders to humans, but, and don't quote me on this because I'm not a spider expert, but the internet says, put that in magical fucking words, the internet says that the Brazilian wandering spider has a very, very powerful aphrodisiac in its venom, which causes you to get a quote-unquote painful hard-on, and you experience this painful hard-on a few hours before your, your system shuts down. You fucking die. So, fucking, the, the fucking worst. Moving on, we have the brown orb spider. Um, uh, it's a spider. I mean, looking at it, it's got the big old abdomen, it's got the stripes and all that. Um, I feel like a lot of these are very dependent on the picture that I chose. Some pictures look worse than others, but the what the fuck was it called brown orb spider is not the worst thing ever so it's, it's not the worst i feel like some of these it will probably get more populated as we go on but some of these are most likely going to be in the disgusting or not the worst the next few are most certainly fucking not going to be <laughs> those tears this one we have is the brown recluse spider brown recluse spider we've all fucking heard the tales that if you're bitten by a brown recluse spider, your body starts to decompose. It is quite literally a necrosis of sorts. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a fucking idiot. And it will eat away at your flesh once it is bitten. We're just going to put this right on up there. And yeah, 
not only are these things very dangerous to humans, dangerous in the sense that, like, it's... They're not going to pursue you like a Brazilian wandering spider would. Uh, brown recluses tend to hide in fucking wood piles. However, if you stick your finger underneath a wood pile, it will become aggressive towards that, and it will bite you. So, uh, just fucking awful. And the way it looks, it has its fucking legs, it's short-haired, it looks like it is in the process of dying and reanimating at the same time. I feel like the, the texture of the spider really adds to the fear factor, so like the short hair, like... The short hair, width of the legs, the gangliness of it really adds to the fear factor, and brown recluse spiders definitely have that. They just look like fucking diseased. It's really bothering to me. Another easy fucking S-tier rank is the camel spider. We're just gonna put that right up on there. Now I know what you're thinking, camel spiders are not spiders, they are sulpugids. Sulpugids are not spiders, however, fuck you. They are spiders, because it emits the same reaction out of me, it's the same fucking feeling that I get from seeing a soul pugit or a camel spider that I would for any other spider. So we're gonna put that on not only the spider tier list, but at the top of the fucking spider tier list. Interesting point though, camel spiders are not venomous. They are fast enough and strong enough, comparatively speaking, to take down animals of their own size without venom, so that's something to keep in mind. Then also you hear about, like, fucking Desert Storm veterans. They were in Afghanistan or whatever. And they would find these spiders in their boots, which is just the worst thing I've ever heard. Going back to uh, more forgiving spiders, what is after this? Oh, yeah, the Cardinal Jumping Spider. Jumping spiders are going to be in cute. This one looks like it's fucking looking at you as if you have games on your fucking phone. It, they're not scary. They're cute. I have even gone up to jumping spiders that I see crawling on my car and even stuck my finger out. Because they're not even spiders, they're like ladybugs. Um, Daddy Longlegs. Again, another one of those that are not spiders. They're, I don't know, amphoids or whatever the fuck you call it. Um, they're definitely not cute, but they're not scary. Uh, I have killed many a Daddy Longlegs with my bare feet, which is not something I would do with any other spider. Daddy long legs are just kind of things that exist. You're not really scared by them, and you're not really, like, attached to them in the same way that you would be attached to a jumping spider. They're just there. They're things that you would kill. Um, I'm gonna need another drink of coffee before this one. This is, oh god, the dancing white lady spider, which is just the worst thing I've ever seen. I, I don't know if this... I think this looks worse than the Brazilian Wandering Spider. I mean, I'm not as carnally afraid of it as I am the Brazilian Wandering Spider, even though I would most likely never step foot in Brazil. However, the Dancing White Lady Spider looks like a spider you would see as a fucking um, sleep paralysis demon. It just... It looks like death. We are going to put at the fucking worst. This is a... What is it? A dwarf spider. Not scary. It, they're so small that even if you were to like look under a microscope and see its form for what it is, it, it just looks like a black of the bill. It's a spider. It has a big abdomen. It has spindly little legs. So dwarf spiders, they're fine. You can kill it easily. Um, Eastern Parson Spider. Looking at this, I, 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 I don't like this. We're putting it at I feel physically ill, because this falls under the category of spiders that look like if you were to get close to it, it would just flip the fuck out and run in any one of potential directions, most likely towards you, and you wouldn't be wearing your shoes, and you're trying to kill it with a boot and it would crawl on your shoes and then run all over the place. Just saying that out loud gave me goosebumps. So, fuck this spider. Fuck every spider that's like it. Fuck every spider that is, like, hiding in corners of your house in areas that are very difficult to get. And I kind of emphasize this enough. 
making this video, I feel goosebumps because I just keep thinking around my bare feet, there's going to be a spider that's going to, like, run, run around my feet and skittle all over my toes. So, that's a warm and comforting thought. Um, European Garden Spider. Funny thing about this, we had one of these in our shed outside in the, um, the doorway. It had a big old web, and it was just there. It was pretty big, too. Um, it's pretty gross. If I saw it crawling on me, I wouldn't like it at all. But at the same time, it's not the worst thing ever. It kind of has, like, a shape that's jumping spider adjacent, but has enough of the weird, short hairiness of other spiders to be awful. I don't know. Looking back on it... What the fuck was the spider called again? Was this the... wasn't the camel spider. It was the... I don't remember what this spider is again, but I'm going to put this in disgusting. Because the eastern garden spider is not the worst. However, this fucking spider right here is worse than the eastern garden spider. Or the European garden spider. I don't fucking know. Alright. Uh, Eastern House Spider. I feel like the fact that they're more than likely to be inside of your house makes them fucking disgusting. Uh, at least the European Garden Spider, it's outside. They hang around trees and shit. They're not likely to go into your house. The This fucking thing you will find in your house. It will be up on the fucking corner of the wall, and you're going to be... Noticing it at 12 p.m. at night when you have to wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning in your pajamas In your underwear or whatever you feel vulnerable and you see this fucking thing at the corner of the wall between the ceiling and The wall and the corner of the two walls and it's got his legs spread out and All you have is a Tupperware bowl maybe some bug spray and a shoe and you're just constantly balancing between the two Like what do you want to do if I spray it with bug spray? It's not gonna die immediately and by God, it's probably going to fall, and it's going to crawl under your bed, and you're not going to be able to sleep for the rest of the night until you're sure that it's dead. Because you go to sleep, you wake up, and you find the thing crawling around your bed somewhere. No. These things are the fucking worst, even though they don't look like the worst spiders ever. What is after that? Oh, yeah. Flower crab spider. Um. Not the worst. I mean... It kind of, along the same way as, like, the banana spider, it looks kind of more like candy than a bug. But I do have a memory of when I was living in Florida. I walked up to my front door to open up the handle, the doorknob, and as I stuck my hand around it, I noticed that there was one of these spiders underneath, and my fingers touched it, and it started moving away. It wasn't... Like, considering how scared of spiders I am, it wasn't the most traumatic memory, but the fact that I touched it, I think, kind of didn't sit well with me when it happens. However, that being said, it just looks like a lime or a lemon. It's not the worst thing ever. So that is going in, not the worst. Um, giant house spider. I'm not sure if this is different than the Eastern House Spider or whatnot, but this picture that I picked is probably the biggest summary of what I'm scared about in spiders. The fact that half of its legs are off of one corner and it's lying flat against the ground and all of its legs are spread. The short hair doesn't help, and just the gangliness of it is beyond awful to me. Not sure if this is different than the Eastern House Spider, however, I'm going to put in the fucking worst. The, if I saw this thing crawling near me, I would probably go into shock. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> what is after this? Uh, the Golden Rod... Uh, the Golden Rod Crab Spider. Um, this looks like something you would find in Subnautica. I feel like it would be a lot more terrifying if it was big. I'm gonna put in Disgusting. Um, I feel the way its legs are spread out kind of shows its underneath anatomy a lot, and I really don't like the way bugs look underneath. It 
has like this mechanical, gross aesthetic to it. And I don't like it when spiders have all their legs spread out, but their two front or their four front legs are together like that. Because it just makes me think, why are they doing that? What sort of ninjutsu gaiden bullshit is this spider going to gain from having its fingers put together like that? So it just makes me nervous every time I see something like that. The Goliath Bird Eater. Moving on. The Grass Spider. Um, it's pretty gross. Um, not the worst. I it, Thinking about it, it you're most likely going to find it in the grass. However, it looks like every spider that I hate, but not quite as extreme as the other spiders that I hate. It's, it's brown recluse wolf spider adjacent, but I feel like looking at it, it's probably very small, and you're just going to see it in the grass doing its own thing, so we're going to put in... <sighs> Looking at it now as I'm putting up to the tier list. Here's the thing. Is it worse than this one? No. No, it's not. So it is going in not the worst. So that was the grass spider. Hobo spider. This spider is homeless. Moving on. Huntsman Spider. Huntsman Spiders are... awful. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I've said that about most of these so far. The thing about Huntsman Spiders, much like the, the Brazilian Wandering Spider and a few others on this list, they don't spin webs. They hunt. They hunt down small animals, birds sometimes, and other insects of its size because they are so fast and so naturally aggressive that they do not need to spin webs. I'm not an arachnologist. I don't know if they can spin webs or if they just don't fucking need to. Uh, that being said, uh, we're just going to put that right up here with uh, the fucking worst. Because, yeah, fuck that shit. Um, let's see. Huntsman Spider. After that, we have the Jumping Spider. Cute. Uh, nothing else to be said. These things are plush toys. They're not scary. They're quite adorable, actually. I would have one as a pet if they weren't so small, fragile, delicate, and weak. Uh, the Marbled Orb Weaver. Um. Hmm. This is, this is tricky. It has that candy like quality to it, but I feel like the fact that its abdomen is covering most of its body makes it seem like it's recoiling. And it's about to jump. And I don't like that. That makes me feel bad when I look at it. Um, I'm going to put this in Disgusting alongside of this big boy over here. Because while I think it's not as aesthetically awful as the Grass Spider, if it was crawling on me, I think I would probably have a much worse reaction than if I had a Grass Spider crawling on me. Alright, so... The mouse spider. Um, this thing is bad. It's really shiny, though. So, I think I'm going to put it in the same category as the marbled orb weaver, if I remembered its name correctly. Yes, I did. So, we're going to put that in the same category. Um, it's like a tarantula, but it doesn't have the hair. It looks more like a, an ornate jewel. So, it's not at top tier, but it is pretty gnarly looking, and black spiders are just by default worse looking. I'd rather look at something that's a little bit more colorful and bright than something that's black and brown, covered in short hairs, and looks like death. So yeah, that is going in disgusting. Oh! Oh, this thing's adorable. We're putting it that at the top of Q, the peacock spider. I don't know if this thing is classified under a uh, jumping spider, but these things are adorable. They just wander around with their hands up. It's like they're really anxious to answer a question in class, and they want to raise both hands so that the teacher notices them. So, like a jumping spider, but with even more visual flair. They're fabulous. I love them. Bye-bye, peacock spider.
uh, the purse web spider. This is like, what was it? Oh yeah, the so the purse web spider is like the mouse spider, but worse. So we're gonna put that in physically ill. Um, again, I haven't seen a lot of these spiders in person, thank fucking god. But I feel like if this was next to this, this one right here would be bigger, and just by default, this one is worse than the mouse spider. The raft spider. If you thought you were safe in the water, <laughs> uh, you probably are, but this thing is not great. It's a spider that can swim on top of the water. There's another one of these in this list. Again, I'm not an arachnologist. I don't know if they're the same, but I don't really give a shit. This is comedy. So the raft spider, not the worst, but I feel like if you were like shirtless in a bathing suit in the water and this thing were swimming up to you, it would be the equivalent of like being trapped in the water with a shark. It's, you're outside of your comfort zone. So that's not very good. The spiny backed orb weaver. This thing looks cool. Um, it doesn't really look scary. I mean, it does look scary, but at the same time, it looks like something from Skull Island. It just, it looks cool. Um, if it was crawling on me, that would probably be a different story, but just looking at it as a picture, like, I, I would have, like, a model of this in my room somewhere. It looks fucking metal. So we're going to put that in not scary. Now, the big one. Tarantulas. I'm not that scared of tarantulas, and the reason I word it like that is tarantulas are big enough and fluffy enough to where it does this weird thing in my brain where I feel like it crosses between spider, bug, insect thing, and small animal. Uh, now, interesting thing I have to say about this is... Tarantulas, I feel like if I had my hands out and I was willing to, like, oh, yeah, you get to hold a tarantula, it's like, I want to do something dangerous, I want to do something new and awesome. So, if I held out my hands and someone were to bring a tarantula onto my hands, I feel like, okay, I'd be fine, I'd be fine. The closer it gets to my hands, the more I'd be like, oh, no, I don't like this. And the split second before it touches my fingers, I feel like I would pull away and run away. So, I'm going to put it at, I don't want to call them disgusting. Some of them look really nice. Like, they look pretty, especially this picture that I chose. I realize not all tarantulas look the same. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I might regret it later. I might have a tarantula encounter that I will completely change my opinion on, but I'm going to put them in not scary. They're big enough and fluffy enough to where I, they kind of look like small animals. So, the jury is out. We'll see if I ever have an experience with a tarantula and it'll change my mind. But, I mean, people keep tarantulas as pets and they're supposed to be pretty good pets, so... Yeah, you, know, you never know. So, now we are on to the water spider. Uh, water spotter... Water spoder... Spoderman... Uh, looks just like the raft spider except just a little bit worse um it's a spider that swims you're never safe in the water we're gonna put this at disgusting because it has all the horrible attributes that the raft spider does except it looks worse moving on from that we have the western black widow um hmm this is hard, because the Black Widow should be worse than the Western Black Widow. Because we all identify Black Widows as being, like, the super spoopiest of all the spiders. But, I don't know. The, the patterns on it are giving me some bad vibes. So, we are gonna... We're gonna put this in not the worst, but... Uh, a few notches above the Black Widow because it's on the same category, but it's not great. Alright, the White Flower Spider. Uh, this thing is awful. 
like I, I know I've said that like spiders that look like jewels and kind of have like these ornate patterns to them are generally more forgivable in my opinion, but this thing, I feel like if it was large, would be probably the final boss of a Dark Souls game. And I don't know, it, it just looks sickly, it looks evil, it looks like something from the depths of Tartarus, so. Um, we're gonna, mm, we're gonna put this in I Feel Physically Ill. Yeah, I feel like that's a good place for it. it. It doesn't look good, it looks like a tank made of death. And, um, probably one of the easiest fucking S-tier ranks I can give is the Wolf Spider. Everything I've described about what I hate about spiders, you should know by now, it should come as no surprise, Wolf Spider is easy, top tier, terrifying. It, it's awful. They, they are have the long, gangly legs, they're big, they wander around, so they don't find their little home, and they stay the fuck there, they move all over the place. And they've got, like, the short little hair that makes it seem like when they will walk on you, they would give you goosebumps when they do so, because you have the little hairs brushing up against you. No, not for me. And then the last spider is the zebra jumping spider. Just going to put that right there. No surprises. It's cute. Looking at it, it's totes adorable. Yeah. So yeah, that is our spider tier list. Look at that. We have way more fucking disgusting spiders than we do not disgusting spiders. So that should give you a pretty good idea of my bias. So yeah, um, bye.